What's going on? Coach Colin here, talking about habit formation today. And when to shift your habits. So I had a friend who was talking about his own habit board that he has going. He wanted to stretch and he wanted to get out of bed on time and just normal things like that. He wanted to do 50 push-ups. So my suggestion to him was instead of trying to crack out all those things right in the middle of the day, right as soon as you wake up, because sometimes and this particular person works in the film uh, industry, it gets really hard. When you're working 16, 17, 18 hour days, you don't exactly have the bandwidth to do a morning ritual. But what my suggestion to him was, break your habits up. How you doing? Break your habits up. So if you have 50 push-ups that you need to do throughout the day, my suggestion was set a bunch of alarms, you know? As soon as you wake up, hit five. But then have alarms set for maybe two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, and every two hours just hit five. Until pretty much the end of your day, when you're at home, it'll go off the last time, you'll do your last five, you hit your 50. If you have a goal of stretching right in the morning, again, maybe you don't have time to stretch directly in the morning, but throughout your day, you find yourself standing for two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds, any amount of time, you can do a stretch in that limited amount of time. Just a quick stretch. And you can actually think about it and go, okay, I already stretched my quads. Okay, so the next time I have a second, I'm gonna stretch my hamstrings. And the next time I have a second, I'm gonna stretch my calves. And the next time I have a second, I'm gonna stretch my shoulders and so on and so forth. And then throughout the day, if you do that throughout the day, you'll probably hit more than 10 minutes. So. What I'm getting at is sometimes you want a certain habit to happen at a certain time of day, but you can't have it. And that's fine. Don't throw away the habit because you can't do it at the exact time you want to. Just shift it, shift it, break it up, but still go after it. Sometimes my reading, sometimes my reading, I can't get the 10 pages done all at once because I got some stuff going on. Recently, I've been able to just kill that, so it's been easy for me. But I'll wake up and I'll read like five pages and I'll leave the other five before I go to bed. So I'll just read some in the morning, read some at night. So you gotta, you gotta make your habits fit into your life. Any goal that you're trying to have, have it fit into your life. And then also, this wasn't supposed to be part of the video, but I'll throw it in anyway. Sometimes the habits that we take on in terms of the habit board, in terms of building habits are too big, right? And if a habit's too big, we have this thing where it's too big, so we don't do it at all. And again, if it's too big, break it up. Not even break it up, break it down. Break it all down. What do you want inside that morning routine? Oh, well, I want stretching, I want meditation, uh, I want some reading, I want some journaling, I want some affirmations. It's like, okay, so you can't do 10 minutes of affirmations. How, how about this? How about you find one affirmation and you say it 10 times? Breaks it down, right? That makes it really quick. You can do that in a minute. Instead of a 30 minute meditation session, because that's way too big, stacked with all the other stuff, you do a five minute meditation session. Instead of journaling until you've filled out the equivalent of 20 pages, how about you just write one page of things that you're grateful for that happened last night or yesterday, you know? Just stuff like that. Sometimes you need to just break your habit down because the first part of, of actually creating a habit is establishing it. And you're not gonna establish it perfect right at the beginning. That's just not gonna happen. So establish your habits first in a very small way. I talked about this, I have a podcast about this on the Open Brother Project. It's called Very Small Consistent Steps because that's what habit formation takes. Very small, consistent steps. I was reading a behavioral scientist talk about uh, helping people to start running and the habit that he set up for them was just putting on running shoes and then taking them off. It sounds ridiculous, but that is the first part 
to actually becoming somebody who gets out and runs every day. And in my opinion, it's the hardest part because you look at your shoes and all of a sudden everything associated with those shoes pops into your head and you're like, if I don't put on the shoes, I don't have to sweat, I don't have to breathe hard. But if you can just get to the point of putting on those shoes every day, you can make some pretty amazing things happen consistently. Same thing with working out. I had a client myself. I was talking to him about working out and he was telling me that he had this idea in his head that if he worked out too hard, he would have a heart attack. Yeah, some people have that type of thing. My suggestion to him was, listen, how about this? How about we build some concrete experience in your mind that that doesn't happen by you just doing three push-ups a day? That's all I wanted from him, three push-ups a day. And then he did it. And from there, you're able to build to five because three sounds ridiculous. You drop down to do three push-ups and that's your workout for the day. It's like, what did I even do? But what you're doing is you're building up the confidence for bigger habits to take place. And that's all these habits are when you see me with my habit board and everything like that. That's all it is. You know, praying for five minutes every day, that could turn into me reading the Bible every day for half an hour. That could turn into me volunteering at my church consistently. That could lead to me getting baptized again. That could lead to me becoming a youth pastor. Like, you, you have no idea where, you, where small habits can take you, but they can take you pretty crazy places. You just got to give it that time, give it that space, and give it that patience. So, I'm going to stop the video there. I just wanted to make that. I'm actually on my morning walk, and I promised myself my walk wouldn't be about making videos, but I felt like I had to do that. And uh, if you need help with habit formation, let me know. I'm a habit coach. I'm working on some programs right now for people who uh, don't have, you know, six months, uh, the ability to make six month commitments and stuff like that. So we, I have some things in the works, have some books in the works, it's gonna be some great stuff. But for now, if you need help with your habits, hit me up. My email is coachcolin3, the number three, at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Instagram. I'm more than happy to reach out on DMs. I am Coach Colin because I am Coach Colin. And that was today's video. I'm out. Peace.